<laughs> it's a long way. Hey, Kathy Wilkerson, glad to see you this morning too. I have some fun projects planned for you. So I really wanted to do this video, even though it's not on Tuesday. So anyway, when I was cleaning up after Saturday's class, I thought it's a shame that not everyone gets to see about, hey, Patty, down in Utah, good to see you this morning. I thought, oh, it's a shame that not everyone gets to learn this vellum and alcohol ink blend. Hey, Cindy Garfi, good to see you too. And you're in Colorado. So we've got people from all over the United States tuning in this morning. So please keep commenting. Tell us how the weather is. Send hearts, thumbs up, anything. that That's really great to help others find, to locate us. And I can see I have our blinds. It is a very, very sunny day here in Bozeman. And I have the blinds almost closed, but I can still see um, a little bit of sunshine coming in there. So anyway, um, I, I I actually should be packing. Hey, Lisa, good to see you too this morning. I should be packing, but I, I'm actually working. I, I just, while I was waiting to do this, I was working on another new card idea for next week. So anyway, but now we're gonna do the alcohol blend. So I'm gonna turn the camera down. So close your eyes for a minute. And we will get this all tuned in. There we go. There's two cards that we made this past weekend. There we go. And I know a few people were in my class that are on here, but um, I don't think it'll hurt for you. We're going to do a couple of different things too. So it won't hurt to see all of this type of thing again. Um, where, do you see all this background? That's all vellum. This is this is vellum back here behind that stitched snowflake. Um, but anyway, those are those are some cards we did over the weekend. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play with vellum and we're going to play with our stamping blends. And um, I always find like this one, for example, is uh, dark Highland Heather and this is dark balmy blue. I always find that the dark ones, you know, they come with light, balmy blue, dark, balmy blue. This one is dark night of navy and light night of navy. And you think navy's pretty dark, but it actually, what this all gets so much lighter. So, um, and we have a, uh, I've got a, this is a dark Bermuda Bay. And then we need some kind of a brush. It can be, it can be something as simple as a paintbrush like this. So just something that you can use with the alcohol. Um, I like to use the, this is a very flat uh, water painter. And I'll show you, this is in um, our catalog. I'll show you where that is. Um, the vellum is, you know, you get 20 pieces of vellum for $10. And that is in our annual catalog. It's on page 136 right here. It's it, our craft, it's called, um, it's a it's a really, I don't know what the weight is, but it's a very nice heavy weight vellum. If you bought a, a vellum at the craft stores, the big box stores, it would not be this big, this thick. Um, it's really a nice vellum. Um, and then the water painters are on page 129 and they're, you get three different brushes, a real fine tip for what using with water. And your blend and your um, inks, a medium, and then that flat one, and they're twelve dollars. That's really nice. We used to have what was called aqua painters, but now we have water pens, and they do uh, they twist just the opposite. They don't do righty tighty, lefty loosey. They do the opposite. So when you get them, usually you fill this barrel with water. You just put water in there. Um, but we're going to be using um, alcohol today. And sometimes I put alcohol in too. Um, if we're doing, now see, they, they twist just the opposite of what you normally twist things. I don't know who made those. And then you must, you really need to use a 99.9% .9 alcohol. And I got this on Amazon. At, at CVS and, and Walgreens, you can only buy 91. I don't know if they have it behind the counter, if they would have 99 or not. I've never asked. I just ordered it on Amazon. It's really cheap. Anyway, it's isopropyl 
alcohol. And you can do this with the 91%, but your paper will really crinkle up. It'll really curl. And this, this dries even faster and the paper doesn't curl so much. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to, um, I'll just show you how easy it is. I'm going to bring in a, bring in a, uh, some grid so I don't spoil my nice, uh, on stage mat here and we'll just put our vellum down like this and I'm going to use some I'm going to start with my Highland Heather I'm going to use just and I like to use the the thick end the wide end and you have to there's a point and there's a side do you see how I'm keeping it really flat I'm going to zoom in even more so you can see um, I'm keeping it like almost parallel with the paper, I'm just going in little circles, just putting it all over like this. I can't see the comments, but please keep talking to each other. Um, I'm just adding, adding it like that. And I'm going to close that up. I'm going to bring in a little of the balmy blue. Just gonna... This, what are you all planning to do for Thanksgiving? Is anyone traveling anywhere? I'm going to bring in some of the navy also, just a tiny bit of the navy. I'm going to use the, I just want to put just a little bit of navy. I sometimes like that darkness. Um, anyone else flying? I'm hoping everything goes well. We did have to get COVID tests. And um, so we have the paperwork for that. And then when we were all staying at a resort and in Mexico near where Sarah and Andre live, and then they're going to join us. And uh, so it doesn't look like much. It looks like just plain scribbles. But anyway, um, then on the way, even when we come back on Sunday, we have to be tested. Well, yeah, on Saturday, we have to be tested again. And then um, if we're clear, we can fly. I don't know what my daughter wants to know what my plan is if we would get sick while we're there. I don't know. I'm going to take some craft things. I'm going to take some blends and some coloring things. That's my plan in case I get stuck. I like to start and I'm just, do you see how I'm just dabbing? I'm taking my brush, just dabbing with the, just dipping in, getting a little alcohol like this. Do you see how it's moving around? Oh, I forgot to get the straw out, but, um, Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of on the pink now, on the purpley. I love purples and pinks with uh, blends. I'm going to do a little bit right there and just, just a tiny bit of, do you see how it's moving? Um, and I forgot to get the straw, but we can blow on it too. And you can, do you see how fast it's moving? It's looking really good. And then you, you can take a straw and you can blow. I'm going to blow on it, pretend I have a straw here, but... Um, And it, it will dry very, very quickly. I see a little spot right here. I, don't want, I want it to move a little bit more. We don't want it to have too many dry spots, but we don't want it to be too wet either. Um, okay, there's that. I'm going to just set that right there so you can still see that. And uh, let's try another one now. Um, we're going to do... We're going to do... Uh, these cards with the snowflakes. I'm going to try, we're going to try that, uh, something with the Bermuda Bay, because that is just really great. This is just a piece of vellum now for this card that we're going to make. It's four and a quarter by two, and we're going to cut off a little bit, but I'm going to show you that again. And um, hey, Carla, good to see you this morning. Oh, good. Good to see some more of you on here. I'm glad you found me. I'm going to start with my... Um, this uh, Bermuda Bay. I'm just gonna color some good sized swatches here. It's it's this dries quite quite quickly. So um, I'm going to add a little bit of oh I think we'll just do the the I think we'll do the I love misty moonlight. That is one of my favorite things to use with blends. We'll do misty moonlight and Bermuda Bay. Just these two colors. It doesn't make any difference if there's some white space. I'm just scribbling. Okay, like that. And now again, I'm going to start. 
I'm going to, uh, let's see, I can't read the, I can't see what the comments, someone said something about, but let's see what's here. Um, you have to use, uh, uh, let's see. Yes, you have to use alcohol, you must use alcohol blends. These, these dry very quickly too, that's why we have to have a very tight seal. These are alcohol blends and they're made by stamping up. And uh, you, and you can certainly do this with if you had um, Copic markers. Maybe some of you might have Copics. You can use Copics. Um, I love our stamping up lens because they match all. They coordinate with all of our cards, card co card stocks. So uh, Misty Moonlight is a is a uh, in color. Came out this summer. So last summer anyway. There we go. Isn't that pretty? It's see how it's moving already? And you can just clean out your brush and wipe it off until it's dry. And that is the that is that. And I'm going to set this aside. It will dry quite quickly. And you can remember, you can use a brush like this. Any wide bristled brush, anything, because you're using it fairly dry, dipping it. You can see how this one is already dry. But we're going to bring in, I'm just going to set those aside, push those markers aside. I'm going to put this over here for now while it's so it can dry completely and we're going to start on our cards. And so we're going to bring in our, my envelope of goodies and we have a card base. And you know, I don't know if I've ever, if I've said this much or not. I love to use thick white for the base. I am really particular about that. And um, we make the thick the stamping up makes the thick white cardstock it's the same color as the regular cardstock i like the uh, regular white cardstock for the insides and tops and pieces and for stamping but i like the thick for the base and you're just going to fold that in half it's five and a half five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter give it a good good crease there we go and there is our base. I'm gonna take that off and I'll bring in. So I'm going to bring in, this is a mat and I've already die cut this. It's four by five and a fourth. And the stamps and dies that we're using are one of my absolute favorite sets. Now you probably said, oh, she said that, Corinne has said that many times. Some of you are probably smiling. This time of giving is really a good one though. It's in the mini catalog. I love the, I love the font, thankful, merry, and boo. And it, these are all seasons, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Christmas when we give to others. And it's just got wonderful stamps, red rubber, and uh, really neat dyes. And so, and the leaves are wonderful, but these are dies, and these have been on back order a lot. I'm not positive they were in. I think they might be in now. I'm not positive, though. Um, so they cut beautifully, and I just put that over there like that and ran it through my die-cutting machine, my cut and emboss, and I just, I bare, mostly just punched it out with my fingers. It comes out quite nicely. And there is a the snowflakes, the, the Santa Claus and the deer, that we're gonna use we're gonna use that one and we're gonna use this one with the with the uh, ornaments hanging down. There's one with the the boot the pumpkins, which were a little bit past pumpkins. But and I, what I love is these dies. Look at these dies for the leaves. Like they, they're all four five leaves hooked together. There's a really nice snowflake and some branches and other things too. But it's really it's a nice set. I really, it's been one of my favorites. And I didn't want to miss not being able to show you this. So you take that mat. The very first thing you do is you die cut. You must die cut first, and then you're going to emboss. Do you see this embossing? If you emboss first, it would smash down. If you embossed and then die cut, it would smash that down. And the die, the little... Uh, Snowflake dies. These are back in now. These are the stamping cut and emboss. Th wintry 3D. That's an embossing folder. And it's a dimensional one. It has the uh, snowflakes. 
And you you can see how you can I this piece I I I ran through on these are this is vellum. You can do with the white. You can do um and then this one is the evergreen boughs. Can you see that? Oh, uh, see, I think I did that on one of the cards. I don't know. Uh I know I did, but I don't know if I have it here. So anyway, that's what you and that's a really, that's a must-have embossed, that's a must-have embossing folder. It's in the annual catalog. Must have gotten some ink already on my fingernail. So I already, and these, um, these embossing folders, they're only half. They're designed so you can use them in the mini machine or the, the large cut and emboss or big shot, whatever you have. But this is what you do. You put them in. I always put my Stamping Up logo facing up, and I just put it in like this and up to where I've die cut. And we're just going to emboss the bottom of that. Isn't that neat? Uh, Carly said, yes, they were on back order, but I think they're in now. I'm not positive about that, but they have been in and out and in and out, and I believe they're in now. But um, anyway, so we're going to put this, we're gonna take this now and put it on our card base and just like like, well, we're not going to do that yet because we have to put our piece of vellum in there. So let's do our stamping. And uh, I have some snowflakes I'll cut out too because it's sort of fun. Um, oh, we have a, we have the coolest um, die. It's called Stitch Snowflakes. Well, I'm not sure if it's called Stitched or not. It's, it is stitched, but it is called, um, let's see once what it's called. Stitched snowflake dies. Oh my goodness, these are fabulous. And I want you to look at these, how they're stitching on each of these. Can you see that? And you can cut all, all kinds of them at one time. They cut beautifully. We have another snowflake set that was from last year. That's still available too. So, but these are pretty neat. And I don't know where my stamp is that goes with this bundle, but I can't find it anywhere. So I have to, I've ordered a new one. Um, this, these are some of the, these are some of the stamps. And I have looked everywhere in my room. I'm sure it'll show up sometime probably in the spring, but it looks like this. These are some of the stamps that you can make with that set called Mary Everything or something like that in the mini catalog. So let's do our stamping. We're going to do a little bit of stamping now. And I have a couple tags here. We're going to bring in some, we'll use Misty Moonlight because that's a good color to use with this project. Let's use that. And I'm going to do Mary. And... Um, I love this. I hope I can get this. I'm going to try to pull it closer to me. Let's see if you can see that. No. Let's see if you can see it right there. Okay. We're going to just stamp down. Oh, it worked. Thank goodness. And uh, we're going to stamp up the, the snowflakes. We're going to put those right on the inside of our card. We'll put them right down here. And then we'll turn it around and some more right there for us. And um, you can just say Mary. We could stamp the envelope. That would be good too. Let's let's do that while our, our vellum is drying. We'll just put one little snowflake right there. Isn't that a pretty? Well, you it would be pretty if you could see it, right? I can when I stand up. There we go. I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit. There we go. And I think we're done with that. Okay, let's see how our vellum is coming now. Let's put our card pieces right here. And we've got our, our envelope and our Mary. I maybe have to put a little diamond on that. And we are going to pop that up with some dimensionals. Let's see once here, I'm getting down to the edges. So we'll put a couple dimensionals on that. And take, take your pick tool hook those up and we're going to put it you can put it any way you want you can put it right like that i put i put them like that oh we'll just put it i think we'll put it right there it's just a little wet yet and if you want i was thinking what i was thinking these snow a couple snow maybe just one snowflake like this could be popped up 
Um, we could curl it a little bit with our fingers and maybe glue dot it. Take a glue dot. These are, I've had to, there we go. Just put a, maybe we'll put another one on just for good safekeeping. We're gonna put that right down there at the bottom. And now we're going to get our vellum. Let me bring that in and it is dry already. Look at, look at that. And we, I'm going to have you, it's pretty close to be, you can always use heat gun. You can use, this one is a little muddy. This one is a little, I don't really like this one as much. This is what it looks like now. So one of the big keys for vellum is you must put vellum, no matter what you're doing, you must put white behind it. Do you see how that pops so much more? That's a better look than putting it on something, another color. Um, you can put, look how nice that looks. So let's just take, you tell me now, which one do you like better? Do you want, do you like the one that has the purple colors, the Highland Heather? That would be that. Or do you like the one with the Bermuda Bay? Which is your favorite? Um... Oh, I'm, I'm glad you found your three blends. You'll have to order some more because, boy, they're just, they're outstanding. Um, can you dab it with a paper towel? Yes, you can make, you can dab it with a paper towel, sure. You can do that. You can blow it with a straw. You can blow it with your mouth. You can even blow it with a little baby nose syringe. But you can take, yes, I, I should have had a paper towel. I didn't even do that. But, yes, sometimes I've gotten it very wet, um, and you can just dab it a little bit. Sure, yep, yeah, you can dab that. Okay, which color do you, okay, purple, purple. Who else, what else do we have? Well, what do we want? Uh, Bermuda Bay. I see what Bermuda Bay I like three colors best. Okay, I think it's at this one. I think, let's see once. I love that dark right there. Do you see how that edge looks really? I like these darkness. So I think we'll use this and we let's see once. I like three colors, Bermuda Bay and purple. We've got a couple, we've got a, about two to two to one or so on this. And um, I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to, to make this so that it's we can see some of that cool stuff. Um, and what I do is I just take my scotch tape. You could take your tape runner. I'm just going to take my scotch tape, though. And I'm just going to put it on like that. Just a little bit. I'm going to take... Um, cut that scotch tape a little bit. I, want to, I don't want it over the edges, and I don't want it to go too far into the snowflake. And um, just like that. And now I'm just going to cut those... I'm just going to trim these edges a little bit so it's not hanging off and there's not there's no reason that you have to be straight. So cuz you that, that's got a frame around it, but I do like to save these little pieces because you can always use something with these. So it it looks like that on the back, but look at that on the front and then I'm going to add it to the card and it I'm going to have to fix that where we have that a little smudge. So we're going to put some adhesive. I'm just, just regular seal, my stamping seal right there. And there we have it. Now it needs, it needs just a little bit of more bone folding right there. Okay, and now we need to add some rhinestones. Some rhinestones, I think, will just really make it pop. Let me just see if you can all see it okay. There we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add one, a larger rhinestone right down here on the bottom of this. Um, I may be, t I may take my little ink eraser, and um, I don't know if you have one of these. Um, these mono erasers, they have, they, they're supposed to erase ink. I don't know if this is going to work. You just sort of rub, and it's like a sand. It's called a sand eraser, and it takes away some of the ink until it, it, it roughens up the paper. That's not too bad, but... Um, okay, we'll just add some rhinestones, and... Right there. It's like it was made for these rhinestones, each snowflake, like that. And I love 
my take your pick tool. I love that putty. I always have to, you know, you have to sort of squeeze it together to make it um, like that. Okay, that's five on there. That looks good, I think. And our inside is like this. And you could you could say Merry Christmas or whatever you want. And um, let's see, let's, here's our envelope. So isn't that a pretty card? I really, I, I like it a lot. I think, and I love those, I love the embossing folder. I love the snowflakes. I love this kind of snowflakes. I'm not too happy when we get snow early. We, right now we have bare ground, it's wonderful. So this is the one I made the other day that has the Bermuda Bay. And this one I took the Mary going down and added some ribbon. You can do whatever you want. Um, it doesn't make much difference. This one I added pink. Um, I think I used either magenta or polished pink on that one. But it's really, really fun to, to do this. So that is that. So let's do another one now. This one is... Um, I'm going to show you two of them first. We're only going to make one, but um, these are... That's from the same time of giving. And this one I did vellum. Oh, here it is. Yeah, here's the, you can see the evergreen leaves. Aren't they nice? And um, this one I used vellum. This one I used some designer paper. And again, I did the, um, the snowflakes embossing folder. And actually, the sand, this, this is going, this one's the correct way, but this one, I cut backwards or something. I think I turned my folder over. So anyway, we're going to make one of those. We're going to make a slightly different variation. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one too with the with the blue papers. This is this paper is from. Do you recognize it? Hey, Melissa, glad you're watching from California. That blue paper is from that paper that has all the different seasons, like the fall, winter. That's sort of the winter paper. It's really pretty. Um, I like just the simplicity of this. So I'm just with the white inside like that. Um, okay, we are going to, you are going to help me with this one. We're going to, you're going to help me decide if we, you want a red base or a white base. And these are, the space is four and a quarter by 11, folded in half at five and a half. That's our base. And here is our, this, this one was the same mat as before, and that is four by five and a quarter. So we can put it on like on the red like that, or we can put it on the white. And now we're gonna add some paper to it. Now we're gonna add designer paper. And this is the heartwarming hugs. This is in our, uh, let's see if it's in our, I don't know if it's in our annual catalog or our mini catalog. We had it last year. And it's wonderful. I love it. It's one of my favorite papers because it's the true green and red. It's pear pizzazz, mossy, uh, meadow, and real red. I love these colors. So which do you like? Do you like polka dots or stripes? I know. Yes, I, it's too, we, it, I'll tell you what. It doesn't look like much in the catalog. And then you, uh, it's when you, get, you see someone demonstrate it, and it's a wonderful set. Um, but isn't that neat? That's the polka dot. So, <clears throat> do you like the polka dot or do you like the stripe? This is the stripe. That's the pear pizzazz on one side. We could even, you know, we could do that too. We're not going to. We're going to use red, but there's the red stripe. So, do you like stripes or polka dots? Which one? Here it is on the red paper. Do you like the red paper or the white paper? I see stripes. Anyone else have a comment? Let's see once. Um, stripes, stripes. Who else? Well, anyone else have a preference? There's the stripes. There's the polka dots. Which one do you think? Polka dots, stripes. Well, we need a few more people. Say something, girls, quickly, because then we, 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 we don't know. Uh, stripes with white paper. I think we're going to do, we're going to, I think we have more stripes than we have polka dots. So we'll do this. White paper. How about else? Anyone else? Okay. Um, I'm just going to, again, do you like white paper or red paper? Yeah, I, I agree. Either one is totally fine. Um, I'm just going to use my scotch tape. Again, you could use your, your adhesive too, but um, we'll just do it like that. 
works just as easy for me anyway. Um, okay. Either is fine. Okay. We'll see what. So, okay. And now I'm just going to, we don't need all of that. I'm going to trim some of that down with my long, my long blade scissors. This is a Tim Holtz scissors. This is one of my favorite scissors you can get on Amazon. It's a, made by Tonic. Um, I wish Stamping Up would have a lot. We have, I, I love our, I love our little paper snips. This is great for fussy cutting and small things, but I have a long, I have a ribbon scissors at front and, uh, and then I have my uh, Tim Holtz scissors. So I like that. Oop, my, that's the end of my tape there. So we'll put a little bit right there. And, um, okay, what do you think? White's good, white's good. Okay, here's, there it is on red. I sort of like the white on white. I think that's a real classy looking um, design. But um, let's see what else I have in there. Okay, we'll put that on. And <clears throat> <clears throat> put some adhesive. Just go right over that. And there we have it. We have to do some stamping. We'll do, uh, we're going to do Mary again. Can you still see that? Let's see, we'll get our red ink out and my old red ink pad here. Um, we're going to do Mary. Oh, it's crooked. Let me see once here. I think we'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll do it on. We're going to, I'm going to pull it a little closer to me so I can get my head over it a little bit more. There we go. We're going to use that tag. Oh, we're, now it's falling in the ink, but um, we'll use that tag. That one's from the, oh, I love, I hope you got, got this tag set, these dies, uh, when it was on sale last week. That was such one of my favorites was the the t the tags all the different sizes of tags that we have and then I I have die cut the uh, I've die cut a red snowflake and a white snowflake like this and that is from the uh, gingerbread and peppermint oh isn't that pretty so we'll put that I'm gonna do that. Um, just going to put these two together with some glue dots. Grab my glue dots here. Oh, things are falling on the floor behind me here. Uh, let's see what's, oops. These are my big glue dots, oh, my old glue dots. Let's see ones. let's see about these. Oh, we've got things. These are, oh, our new stamping up glue dots are on the outside now, like this. That's sort of different. It's harder, harder to get used to, I think, but it, they still work the same. They hold very well. Okay, so we're just going to leave the that snowflake. Oh, this is a fabulous die in that whole, I love that set. One of my favorites is that peppermint and gingerbread set. Okay, and we'll just pop that on like that. I think this time I'm going to use my, 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 my stamping seal plus. It's just a little sturdier, and um, I really like it a lot. So we have that. I have a red bow, but I don't know that we need it now. Well, we, let's see. Once we're going to put it on like that, I think it's too much with a bow. Let's see. I think we'll put a diamond on instead. So let's pop that up and uh, get a different sheet of dimensionals here. Okay. And we'll just pop those off. And we have another card almost finished, not quite yet. And I'm gonna get some diamonds out, some rhinestones. And I'm going to use a large one right there to cover that hole. Because I think a, a ribbon is just too, too much. There we go. And 
That looks pretty good, I think. We'll, we'll use that ribbon for something else. And I can always turn this over. But on stitch things, I don't like when it's crooked like that. The stitching is not quite as pronounced when, it, when you turn it over. And there, and there is our card. Isn't that pretty? So we have, we can stamp something on the inside. And there is that one. And we're gonna do one more. And that one, is, I'm gonna have you help me again. This one, we're going to use the um, the pieces. We're, I have got all kinds of things cut here. So let's see what we have. I've got a gold ribbon, some of this real shiny gold ribbon and some gold and we've got a tag. And um, this is going to be the, uh, we have a snowflake die. And do you see the ornaments? It's just a small space. They're in one of the, catalog, in the catalog, there is a sample of three of the dot ornaments. Let me see if I can find that for you this morning. Um, so this is what it looks like in our catalog. It's on page 61 of our mini catalog. And do you see this sample right here? Oh, that, this is the one. This one with the ornaments, you, they're made, they made tags. Well, I don't really think I want to do that, but look at this one with all three snowflakes in a row. You have to be really careful cutting that. Um, and then I think there's another, and at the back of the catalog, there's something else too with that one. I think, oh, here, no, this is, this is the other sample. I have seen, yeah, there it is, run three times, but I'm not wild about that. Um, I am more about doing things quickly. So this paper that we're going to use, I'm gonna give this a good boneful crease now. That's just, this is my thick whisper white. It's uh, five and a half by 11, scored at four. And um, we are going to, which do you like? Do you like, these are from the Artistically Inked. Do you see those, do you recognize it now? This is the, oh, that great gold foiling in there. But I thought that was really pretty to see some of that gold like this. I like that, don't you? Or we could use this one. It's a little lighter. Like that. Do you like the light one or the dark one? Now I'm gonna give you another choice here. This is this is that shimmery vellum that we have. It's four by five and a fourth. That's what it looks like. Or we can use this really shiny one that's mirror, like a mirror. Let me show you what this looks like. It looks pretty cool just like this. I think you could, I just think that'd be a spectacular card. Very simple. You could put a bow on there like that and that would be it. Um, so do you want the vellum? Do you want me to do it on the vellum or on the shiny gold? This, this is the shimmer. You like the dark one, okay. Um, Okay, we'll do the. You tell me now. Do you want the? You want the? Do you want the uh, shiny or the vellum? And while we're doing that, while you're deciding, and you were to decide, do you want the light one or the dark one for that? I'm going to stamp. So we're going to get our our ink out and let's see how we do on this. We're going to use the stamp thankful. And we're going to use the uh, shaded spruce because that's the color in our designer paper. And let's see what's here. This. Now you know what? I can't tell you what that. Whoop, what that. Uh, this die is. Oh, there are two of them. We'll just we'll just ink it up right away, right there. There we have it. Um. I don't know what. The name of this is from, it's from one of our, it's something in the annual catalog. I'm not sure which die set, but I thought it was a perfect one because the other ones weren't long enough. So that's the thankful. And um, okay, now let's see once. Dark one, dark one. Okay, we definitely know we're going to use the dark one. That's the winner there. Okay, now let's see if we can find, I want that, I want that gold to show like that. That's pretty nice. Let's see what's here. So I'm just sort of moving it around. I didn't cut it to a certain measurement or anything. Um, we'll 
we'll just maybe we'll just do that just like that and I'm going to take my little bit of tape oh I have some more here another thing and just tape that on the back I'm going to slice that off a little bit we don't need all of that We're sort of making this one on the fly. I've not made this card, so that looks good with the dark. And now, do you? what did you decide? Um, do you think uh, those tags are neat, aren't they? So do you like the shimmer vellum? This is what it would look like with the shimmering paper behind it. <laughs> yes, you do need some of that paper for sure. Um, okay, there's the gold. You can almost put your lipstick on by looking. When you look at that, it's so shiny. There we go. I like the shiny, too. That's probably my favorite. Um, but don't forget about using. You can use your vellums, your shimmering vellums. This one's the gold. This is the mini. But in our annual catalog, we have all the in colors in the shimmer vellum. So it's really great. We'll use this uh, shiny one today. And we'll just I think I'm going to use my um, Seal Plus on this. So when you're using Seal Plus, it's good to just lift right straight up. I'm just going almost backwards on itself. And this is really, this paper is very, very heavy. And uh, so, and this adhesive is super heavy. So it has a learning curve for sure. And then we'll put this one on. And this is just my regular seal. Um, but I do love our adhesives. I want to have an adhesive sale going sometime in December, but I don't want to have it this week while I'm gone. So um, stay tuned because I'm going to have that. Um, okay, we can do something like we could put um, we could put this on with that, or we can do um, we could just pop that up over here on the part. This part is embossed right there, and. Um, Y yes, that's exactly right. Um, I don't know. Oh, Carla said it. Yes, I use that whole sheet of gold. And I would normally punch out something that's exactly die cut. I, I, don't, I didn't bring a punch over here, but that's exactly what I would do too because you don't want to waste it. Um, but I just did. So anyway, here's my bow. And there's my tag. So I think we'll pop that up. And uh, let's see. Let's put it. I'll just pop that up and put three dimensionals on that. So we're coming up to you know the day after Thanksgiving is is the big shopping time. So some of you go shopping. Well, let's see once we'll do that. And this bow, we can where should we put the bow? I'm not sure we should even use it, but what do you think? Do you think we should use the bow? don't know. And that ribbon is so pretty. It's it's wonderful, this. Oh, this ribbon is, it's so pretty. I, I would like, I think I'll put it up right up there. And um, let me just add my glue dots. Oops. <laughs> add my glue dots. Let's see if the... There they are. I can't tell. I have so much, so many uh, spools of glue dots because I have and I have two stations, one over by the window and one here at my at my desk. Okay, and there is our card. I think we need some gems, but I don't have my gold gems over here. I think we would it would be nice to have a couple of the gold gems. But let's see. Well, let's see the three cards that we've made today. So we've made this one, this one, and then our. We did our Mary card. I sure hope some of you will try this. Oh my goodness. I love vellum. I love playing with it. It's just so much fun. So those are the three cards we did today. And I'll take pictures and I'll put those up on uh, the computer too so that you can look at those again. But you can totally make different variations. But um, 
you know, really pretty, I think. So really easy, too. And then I would put this little bit of gold. This is just what I trimmed off. I would just add it along, you know, maybe the side like this. I think I'll do that right away. Get my little silicone mat out, and um, we'll just add that. So, oops, like that. And put it right along the side. And I'll have to get a Merry Christmas out or something. And there, isn't that pretty? Because then we don't want to waste any little pieces of it. And that mirror paper is always more expensive, too. Um, anyway, that look, I'm going to flip the camera now. So stay, close your eyes for a second. There we go. Super. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. So glad so many of you tuned in today. So terrific. So I hope that, oh, thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. And I sure hope that um, you all have a very fabulous week if you're traveling or if you're staying home um, and cooking. Uh, I know, remember last year we had, Terry and I had, we just had three of us. Grace, our granddaughter Grace was here, her mom, because uh, she's in college. And um, she had, th we had the three of us, you know, sometimes we have 20, but last year was so easy with only three. That was in the midst of COVID and her mom and dad had gone to uh, Missouri to see her, Chrissy's family. So this year we're going down to, uh, thank you, Nancy. Happy Thanksgiving to you, and I hope you, you don't have chemo this week, and I hope you have a, a easier week with some of your treatments. So anyway, have a wonderful Thanksgiving, girls. And you know what? God willing, everything, I will be back next Tuesday and uh, at our usual time. So thank you very much. Safe travels to all of you, and happy Thanksgiving. Bye.